I'm Anthony and this is the Biotech Brief. This brief will talk about how scientists can now use the microorganisms and chemicals on your phone to paint an accurate picture of your lifestyle. Scientists can now figure out your lifestyle including things like what foods you eat, medications you take, and grooming products you use just by testing the chemicals found on the surface of your cell phone. These findings come from researchers who swabbed a handful of spots on the hands and cell phones of 39 volunteers. The scientists used a sensitive technique on the swab samples called mass spectrometry to find what molecules were on the hands and phones. The results of this high-powered analysis showed that each volunteer had a distinct chemical signature on their hand which could be used to identify them out of the whole group. When the scientists compared the chemical hand signatures with the chemicals on each phone, they found that the chemicals overlapped, which meant that the researchers could match the phones to their owners. By using a reference database to match the chemicals to known substances, researchers could also get a pretty clear picture of the volunteers' lifestyles and habits. For instance, they could figure out whether a volunteer used hair loss treatments or was taking antidepressants. Some of the chemicals, such as DEET, which is found in some mosquito repellents, were found more than four months after the product was last used by the phone's owner. Four months. Think about that the next time you reach for mosquito repellent with DEET in it. The insight gained from this type of research could be extended to produce a wide-ranging database for police to use to predict the lifestyle of an individual based on the specific chemicals found on their phone, keys, or other personal objects. I think this microbial and chemical analysis just shows another way that society can benefit from tools and databases that are helping us see and make sense of the microscopic world. You can follow the Biotech Brief on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, and I'll see you next time.